Hello everybody, it's Dan Bigman, your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com. And today I'm gonna to give you a video about why you lose GPR signal strength on any particular survey or project. And there are three ways that your signal strength gets lost that inhibit you know, the GPR wave's ability to look deep into the ground. Okay, there's three ways. And a lot of people, kind of to start with number one, focus on soil conductivity, okay? So soil conductivity is the main way, you know, that people will certainly talk about signal strength getting dissipated or attenuated. Um, and the reason that soil conductivity eats your signal strength is because as your wave travels through the soil let's you know use soil as the example as your wave travels through the soil it excites free electric charges okay so let's say that here are right free electric charges okay in the soil right here's free electric charges and what happens what happens is these are other molecules okay so the green is other molecules what happens is as your wave travels through the soil right it comes out right obviously the other side okay of you know, of our of our example here it's traveling through through the soil what happens is these free electric charges move right they get excited and they move and they bump into other molecules now when they bump into other molecules it causes friction and some of your gpr energy then is released due to Right? So with that heat loss, you get loss of signal strength. All right? So this is one reason, and, and one of the main reasons that's talked about, is conductivity, right? soil conductivity, um, for signal, GPR signal attenuation. Okay, GPR signal attenuation is because your free electric charges get excited as your electromagnetic wave moves through the soil. Those free electric charges bump into other molecules and when they bump into other molecules some of that energy is released in the form of heat and so as this is all released right this is gone now right this is this heat that energy is gone that energy is gone that energy is gone 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 and so you have less signal strength as it moves through your soil due to this heat loss so that's reason number one and it's the reason that most people know about See, pretty poor eraser over here. But there are other reasons. So reason number two. Reason number two is scatter. Reason number two is scatter. Okay, scatter. And what scatter is, is when your wave is moving through soil and that soil has inconsistencies, right? It has heterogeneities in it. Um, that create micro reflections off of these inconsistencies. Okay, so these inconsistencies basically they're small targets that often are smaller than your wavelength, but that will kind of cause some minor reflections off of these inconsistencies. Okay, so in a sense, what you have is um, you know these little kind of you, know, you have these particles or these inconsistencies in your soil or medium. You have your wave coming through, right, this way, okay, coming out the other way. And as your wave comes through and it hits, right, it'll just kind of put these micro reflections, off. not major reflections, just micro reflections, right, scattering your signal's energy all over, okay? It scatters the signal energy all over. And so uh, these micro reflections from these inconsistencies on inconsistencies that are usually smaller than your actual wavelength uh, uh, can take up, you know, or remove quite a bit of your signal's energy because it's getting all these little minor reflections and that eats away at your signal strength, right? The, every reflection, uh, 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 minor reflection, micro reflection will cause some signal attenuation, right? So that's number two, right? Number one, conductivity. 
Number two is scatter. What's the third? The third, and it baffles me that some people who use GPR don't know this point, but if, and if you're one of those people, then that's why it's important that you're watching here and you're learning this. It baffled me that this stuff isn't taught elsewhere. Uh, it should be taught elsewhere, and it's not your fault. Good for you that you're watching and that you understand this, but basic reflections, okay, reflect, that should not be me, okay, reflections are going to cause your energy to dissipate. In a sense, it's going to reduce the amount of energy that's continuing on, that's transmitting through the subsurface, and that's going to limit uh, how deep you're going to be able to see. So here's the point. And so straight up reflections, reflection events, which reflect that energy, could be back to the ground surface getting uh, um, recorded by your receiver antenna. Uh, reflections, all the energy that's reflected is energy that's not going and continuing on into the subsurface. There's a finite amount of energy produced by the GPR, right? A finite amount of energy in that GPR wave, and whatever is reflected does not generally continue on right into the subsurface. And so what's important here is, let's say that you have, you know, you're looking for, for a pipe, okay? You're looking for a pipe. Here's your ground surface, okay? Let's say, and we have two different uh, case studies, right? We have case study one and case study two, and you're looking for this pipe down here. Okay, case study one, case study two. In case study one, it's just, you know, it's, it's clay, okay? It's clay soils, okay? It's clay soils from the top, they're on top of clay, and you're trying to identify this pipe down here. In scenario two, however, let's say you have, you know, asphalt, okay? You have asphalt layer, And then you have clay, right? Asphalt and clay. Under which circumstance are you going to have a better shot of seeing your pipe? Now, clay, we know, is conductive, right? Clay is conductive. So it could have a, you know, be difficult to begin with. But in either case, the clay is still conductive. In which circumstance will you have a better shot of seeing this, this pipe? With or without the asphalt? The answer is without the asphalt, because the asphalt to clay interface is going to cause a major right, reflection event right, right here. That's going to cause a lot of the signal to come back to the ground surface. Right, It comes down and it reflects off of this interface, comes back to the ground surface, and depending on how concentrated, how saturated your clay is, I mean, that could be close to half your signal. Almost half your signal could be reflected back. And if you haven't done, you know, reflection coefficients, if you haven't uh, actually done that equation out, it's a simple equation. Um, we go over that actually in some of our online courses. And, and we go over that in our uh, live workshops. So check those out at the website, learngpr.com. Um, but if you do have the reflection coefficient from asphalt to soil, to clay, to saturated clay, it's it could be close in some circumstances to 50% of your energy is gone at this point because it's getting reflected back to the ground surface and being recorded by your GPR antenna. So in this case, you don't get that reflection event. You'll have a better shot of hitting your target. Here, a lot of that's gone, and maybe you get down, and maybe it gets back up. But you're already at a handicap because you're working with you know, uh, only 50 or 60%, you know, or 65% of your actual signal energy, right? Because 40% or 40% plus could have already been reflected back. So this is another reason why it's difficult, you know, to see deeper, okay? So reflection events can cause major, major uh, um, reductions in signal energy, making it harder to see deeper targets. So I hope this was helpful, right? Losing GPR signal strengths, just for review, there are three ways that this happens. Number one, which is most you know, understood, is conductivity. Number two is scatter off of small little you know, inconsistencies. And number three is reflection events um, that cause a lot of the energy to reflect back towards the ground surface 
minimizing how much energy is left to go back, you know, down and to transmit into the subsurface and find your target. I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, please share it around. Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please help us continue to build the community here. Um, really appreciate it. And if you like the video, then please click that thumbs up button and then like. Go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in, and uh, we will send these videos to your inbox every single week. Thanks so much.